Good job. The pressure washer kit I purchased came with a 50 foot non-marring high pressure hose with 3 8 quick connects, a chemical injector with 3 8 quick connects, a giant model 21290C spray wand with a quick connect, spare o-rings, a dipstick for the AR pump, pressure washer operations manual, and all the paperwork and operating instructions for the Honda GX390 motor. I paid $1,169 for this unit that is with the dump hose modification, which I'll show you how to do so you don't have to pay for this upgrade if you choose this pressure washer. And that was delivered to a freight depot where I went and picked it up. They load it in the back of my truck with a forklift. I purchased this pressure washer from American Pressure Systems located in West Melbourne, Florida. This is model D4242HV. The pressure washer comes with an AR Viper pump, model VV4G42G. It's a 4200 PSI, 4 gallon a minute, high pressure pump. The AR pump comes included with an unloader pressure regulator valve, and I had a modification done by American Pressure Systems. With the fresh water hose line connected, the engine running, and the pump turning, if the trigger is not pulled on your spray wand, what happens is the pump will recirculate the water back into the fresh water inlet. When the trigger's pulled, all the high pressure water comes out. When you release it, it stops the high pressure water and then circulates it between these two fittings. That could cause a heat buildup and you should never ever let your wand trigger be open for more than 30 to 60 seconds. It creates a tremendous amount of heat and can burn up your new pump. So the modification I made is instead of recirculating the water from the fresh water intake to the valve, I have them install a dump hose. So they plug this line and just tie the hose here to the frame where it circulates fresh water when the trigger is not pulled. The main reason I chose this model is because it has an AR Viper pump. AR is an Italian pump manufacturer and they've been around a very long time. The Viper series pump was specially made for pressure washer industry. It has a upgraded valve body and a larger oil reservoir for cooling. Now I know I'm opening up a huge can of worms because everyone has their favorite high pressure pump. I know Cat makes a very good pump. I know General makes a very good pump and there's Comet and there's several others. I chose this one because I made phone calls to several pump repair facilities and I asked them which pump do you see the least and they told me the AR Viper is the least repaired pump. One facility said they saw one AR Viper pump and it was because the guy was running it off of a water well and he pulled sand through the pump damaging it. I know Cat is very good. They're very expensive. I know General is very good. I did my homework like I said and I chose the AR Viper. The other main reason I chose this model, it has the Honda GX390 four stroke motor. It's a 13 horsepower workhorse. I had one in the past and I've never had a problem. It's always a very good idea to flush your garden hose before connecting it to the pressure washer. That way it'll be cleared of any debris.
never ever start your pressure washer without water flowing to the unit. As you saw on the dump hose, when I had the trigger pulled, very little water came out. But when I let go of the trigger, how I bypassed the stream right out the side here. Now, I have a pressure gauge we're gonna hook up here and show you what this thing can produce. I purchased this separately on Amazon. It was about 25 bucks. And this will read all the way up to 5,000. It's a gel filled gauge. I have our unloader backed all the way out. Let's fire it back up. I also wanted to mention, I always pull the trigger on the wand when starting this. It releases some of the pressure, just helps it start a little easier. Okay, so there you saw it. Easily reaches 4,200 PSI, and that's a 25 degree tip on there. So if I put a narrower tip, we're gonna get greater pressures. So the smaller the tip, the higher pressures we're gonna achieve. So that's a success. The cart has 11 inch by four inch pneumatic tires. The aluminum frame and handle are aircraft grade aluminum. Very lightweight, easy to move around. I'm going to get a little picky here. One thing I really didn't like was the mounting flange for the pump to the face of the motor has gaps in here. I would like to have seen that closed up because you know debris can get in here even though I know it's a sealed bearing for the one inch shaft. It's still still a place for debris to collect. I do really like the Armor Flex non-marring hose. My last pressure washer had a black hose and it would leave skid marks on the concrete. This one won't do that. If you choose to do the dump hose modification, it's very simply done. Normally this hose attaches to a fitting on the freshwater inlet here. All you do is you remove the hose from here, put a plug in here, and just attach your hose somewhere where the water's not going to squirt all over the machine or yourself. In this case, American Pressure Systems 
zip tied it to the frame right here. It would have been nice to see a brass nozzle at the end of that, so I think I'm gonna put one. <clears throat> Other than that, you know, I really like the machine. Um, I'll definitely give you my feedback after using this one for a few months. The reason I chose American Pressure Systems for my pressure washer, it had the engine and pump combination I wanted. Very good technical support. They spent the time on the phone talking to me. No, this thing doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but I don't want bells and whistles. I want performance. And plain and simple, they got it to my shipping depot less than anybody else could. I wanted to mention the spray wand does have a lock so the trigger cannot be pulled. So that's about going to wrap it up for this one, guys. So far, it gets Ray's Garage stamp of approval and a big thumbs up.